Hi guys, how you doing? I'm going to post this one to the mobile chit chat uh, section in my main page. You'll see it on the mobile chit chat. Okay, so I looked in my LinkedIn page this morning. Got quite a lot of uh, people on LinkedIn. I'm connected with a lot of business people, some in my own trade, some not, but fellow professional people. I've just seen a really, really interesting article. This has not been put on YouTube yet, but this was on my LinkedIn page. And what it was is, and this really, really pricked my ears up when I read this. In the event, right, that all communication as we know it ceases to be, no mobile phones and no internet, you know, a complete obliterated cyber attack, a coordinated attack, either from an enemy source or from homegrown sources. Who do you think is going to be the one to get any messages out and around and to inform people? Who do you think it will be? There'll be no mobile phones and there'll be no internet. So who will it be or down to? Have a think about it has to be someone independent from the grid. Now have another think about it. What can be independent from the grid back in the 70s that was a huge, huge plus? Yeah, are you getting there? Ham radio operators. Now on this LinkedIn page, this professional person was saying that he's noticed a lot more independent aerials for these ham operators springing up in a lot of towns that that he's driven past whether this is because of the government that are funding them i don't know or whether this is simply because people are prepping and people are starting to believe that we're heading towards what could be a world war and if that's the case, you, you can bet your life that communication will be cut. Whew. It's a worry, isn't it? So it will be CB radios, ham operators, and they will take messages. And they will pass them on to other CB radios. And they will get these messages pushed around the country. And then eventually, the average person, you and me, that is not in the know, We'll find out what's going on. And that, people, is very, very interesting. I don't know what you think about that. You might think that that's just completely immaterial, but it can't be immaterial because it's a valuable source. It has to be a communication device that is independent from the grid. And that fits the bill. Amateur radio operators will be our communication in the event of a total cyber blitz of our infrastructure. Well, see you again.